Uh, big shout out to the folks on the internet that are doing, you know, posting some of these cool DIY builds they've done to um, get into cold plunging for a little less than the than the manufactured ones. I think I looked at all of them on the market and I just couldn't wrap my head around spending, you know, twelve hundred dollars for a for a vessel, uh, and that doesn't include the chiller. So I probably will make another one, another video to show the chiller setup once I get that all dialed in. But I wanted to show just the barrel itself. Disclaimer. I am 5'7 and 160 pounds. Um, so this works great for me, and I would say for anybody who's 5'8, probably up to 5'10 as well. But I would say if you're if you're 5'10, you might want to try one out and make sure you can do it and it works for you. But I can get all the way submerged, and I'll show that in a minute. Um, I can get all the way under, head under, and everything works wonderful. It it um, with the amount of water it displaces in this small vessel, you actually end up having a very small volume of of uh, right here of water that you have to keep cold and keep clean and and so that's a real advantage it's very well insulated i've extra insulated the top as well which i'll show um so it stays cold for a pretty long time and it's it, i i found it to be a, a really nice solution all right so get a closer look at this thing so uh well i built a built a step here too from the leftover cedar that i had from my um uh, sauna big shout out to the heavenly sauna folks they're, they're in west virginia not too far from where i am an awesome company great great sauna um and um you know I, I was i actually had gone to Asheville and stayed in an airbnb and this guy had he had built a sauna with a spring fed cold plunge and used that a couple times and i literally came home from vacation and and bought this sauna and and, and now i'm doing the, the cold plunge part of it it's really a nice uh, way to chill out at the end of your day and um, kind of add it to your recovery and workout and all that. Um, so the barrel itself is, um, is it comes pretty funky when you buy them. Uh, they smell, they've got, um, you know, kind of a vinegary, awful wine smell to it. Um, so I had to really pressure wash it quite a bit um, to get that out. And then I, I used a pool shock um, pack it from Costco and just dump the whole thing in there and that's what I had to do to really get the tannins out of the out of the wood as well but it's still stunk and it's still you know the risk is that you're gonna have you know the bacterial flora in there and it's really gonna muck up your water pretty good so um, I went ahead and used this um, epoxy non-toxic uh, pool liner stuff which is basically it ends up almost like a rubberized plastic kind of surface and it doesn't smell and it actually feels pretty good. I didn't have to sand anything um, to get that on there. I just used a brush and just layered it on pretty thick, as thick as I could. Um, and I think it turned out great. The smell is completely gone. Here's the, here's the bung down here. Um, but yeah, that, that worked out really well. Um, uh, but you really have to do that, I think, because otherwise you're, you're going to deal with smell and, and your water will, will get funky. wanted to just show it when it's empty. That's what the bottom looks like with the epoxy. And for the bung, you know, you can buy these, um, like, made for um, bung hole stoppers. But um, I just found my kids um, had these bouncy balls, and um, they're really rubbery and I can actually use these and it, it makes a perfectly water site tight seal so I was just using this ball just as a as the the cover uh, for it and but now I've rigged this um, tubing into it so when I get my chiller set up I'll probably use this as the inlet for that and probably drill another hole down here um, for the out so I sanded the outside and did a spray polyurethane couldn't help but do a little stencil into just to kick it up a notch um, and then I I went ahead and put this um, this is a one of those piping insulators you can get them at any hardware store it has adhesive on both sides and it worked perfectly just a, a single piece to just go around and stick to the edge which kind of makes it a little more comfortable when you're getting in there you put your hands and arms on it and such um, one thing uh, in hindsight I probably would have done differently I cut the lid um, kind of in between these two, um, uh, the, the top two uh, metal rings. And I, you know, if you were a little taller, I would say maybe not do this. Maybe try to 
there's videos online of how to get these rings off and pop the pop the um, top piece out. That would give you probably you know two or three more inches of space to submerge in. It's fine for me at my height, but if you're a little taller, I'd say definitely don't do what I did. Um, so that was a learning thing. But I love the lid. Um, it's really heavy, and it's I think very well insulated. I put an extra layer of insulation with one of these styrofoam um, squares and just cut it to size. And then um, I actually sprayed the lid with that um, a sprayable uh, rubber sealant, flex seal or something like that. Uh, just because I was getting even, even these little areas in here, you could smell the, the wine. So I had to, I had to seal those up as well. Um, and then I put some handles on the top just for easy grabbing. So that's pretty much it. Okay, so just got out of the sauna. Just gonna show you the setup here as it stands right now, which uh, I'm going to put it in a deck box and contain it and kind of have everything more on a quick disconnect kind of setup and hide all the cords and wires and insulate the, the, um, uh, the hoses. So set at 49 right now. I put a little light in here just for fun, a little blue light. And let's see what we got here. So we got the, we have a, um, 800, um, what's this one called? Yeah. Active Aqua, that's right. Um, pump, and it, it's a nice upgrade from the one that came with it from, from eBay. And a little blue light going, and it looks like we got uh, 46. So a little colder uh, on the thermometer than on the active, uh, or the chiller itself. good plunge so that's it i uh, hope this helps and um i hope some of the people maybe under 510 can uh think of this as an option and um i'll post some links and if you guys have any questions uh leave some comments and i'll try to post another video with the um setup with the chiller just a short one for that all right peace